Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm actually in Colorado. So here's the Interstate 40. We just came over the border. This is Rabbit Springs. And the reason I'm here is we're just stopping on the way to Grand Junction, Colorado. And apparently in this area you can find some agate, jasper, and some iron concretions. So I'm just going to take a quick look around because it's right off the interstate easy. And just a little bit of a heads up, there's a reason I'm making a visit to Grand Junction and there's my wife with me. So let's go ahead and take a look around and see what we can find. So I've come this far. So far, not really seeing much. Most of, you, most of you are seeing some sand and silt and mud layers. The mud layers tend to be kind of this greenish and not seeing a whole lot in it. Get a few interesting looking things, but no Jasper agate yet that I'm seeing. Directions out here were just, it's along this road. Is what it's, so I don't know if it's below the cliffs or above them. So we'll search down here for a little bit, and then I'll go up there if I don't find anything. So, yeah, we'll just take a look. Still not finding anything in this stuff. Well, that's a cool balanced rock. <laughs> just sitting right there. So in this area, there's this, like, interesting green and whitish unit that might take a polish. I don't know. But some of them are pretty interesting looking, like these. It might even be a volcanic ash layer. And another reason I'm thinking that is, I found this one. And if you look at the texture on the surface, it almost looks like wood. I'll have to clean that off to see, but that might actually be a piece of petrified wood. It's possible, or it might just be the layering I see <laughs> in like a mudstone or shale or something like that. Okay, just found something that I've gotten used to seeing at Cisco and Yellow Cat. So here you've got some nice gypsum. It makes these nice crystal growths that make you think it's petrified wood or something like that, when in fact it's, it's crystals of gypsum. Sometimes you get crystals of calcite or barite as well. We're not too far from Cisco and Yellow Cat, so that is possible. So we might be seeing some of that around. Interesting layering. But yeah, see there's some more of it. Found this. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Just a, it's basically the sandstone, but it's got iron in it, giving it some different colors. So kind of get some cool banding. I actually just searched the very top here. Didn't find anything I felt like filming. So, I still haven't even found a little piece of jasper agate. Mm, look at that! A little iron concretion. Not terribly spherical, but it's kind of cool. So I picked that up, and it's more of the green, but it's actually solid enough, I think you could technically call it a jasper. So kind of a greenish jasper. Okay, so that's maybe something. What is this? Oh, now that looks like something. That looks like something. <sighs> okay, I'm going to have to get this washed off when I get back home. Of course, you'll see it really soon. <laughs> but that looks like something. So I'm going to take that back and wash that off. Here's this one cut open. Not too bad. Interesting. I found another one, I think. Yeah, it has this interesting shape on the outside. This might be what it was referring to. It's kind of a greenish color, though. And it kind of reminds me of those replaced barite concretions over at Cisco and Yellow Cat. I don't know. We'll wash that one off, too. They actually seem to be fairly abundant here. Oh, right there. So you can see a little bit going through that. That looks like a little bit of agate going through right there. Huh. Found a big piece. So they've got, you can see some of the agate in there. And then the outside jasper is kind of a 
a gray green not very pretty but it's still interesting here's this one washed off the agate right here was really nice look at that other than that not much so i guess out here you kind of want to try and find these veins of agate if you can all right i'm seeing it all over now i picked up that piece and that piece and right over here see that thing once again not good quality but i am seeing a lot of it now here's this one cut open all right some interesting patterns and swirls in there i think i see something hiding in the bush here yep it's more of that jasper here's this one cut open Cool. And here I found one that you got a top to. And looking at it, it really does look like that replaced barite over at Cisco Neil Cat. So I think this is the replaced barite. But it's not the pretty red and yellow you get over there. It's kind of a puke green to gray. <laughs> not, not the most beautiful color. But there does seem to be a fair amount of it. Just found that one. It's got a little bit of an agate seam in it. Okay. And then over here, we saw that one. Okay, this one's a little bit of cleaned off. And, oh, it has some actual nice patterns in it. That one's actually a nicer piece. Okay, now that is much more interesting. I like that. Okay, I could definitely use more of those. Here's this one washed off. Nice. Now, I found something a little bit more interesting. That's a better looking agate inside there. Can't see the rest, it's super dirty. I'll get it washed off, but I can see some agate in there. Now that looks like it might be agate inside. Interesting. I'm going to take that and cut that one open. Here's this one cut open. The other side fell apart. That's what it looked like. Pretty nice. And I'm back at the car. So I didn't have a lot of time to spend today because we're kind of in a hurry today because we've got a lot of stuff going on. So just so you know where it was that we found the stuff. So when I was down at the base of it, I wasn't finding much. It's when you get into this kind of central green layer maybe a little higher up. This is where I was finding it, right through here. So maybe that zone kind of going like that. And like I said, it's just off Interstate 40, Rabbit Springs exit. You come over here to the north side, and there you go. So of course, like always, I'll give you some GPS coordinates to where we're parked right here. <laughs> so you know where I walked immediately and found a few pieces right here. I imagine you should be able to find it all along right here and down there. I just didn't see it at first because I was expecting red, brown, yellow jasper because that's what I'm used to. So kind of refreshing finding some greenish jasper. I just wish it was a prettier green. <laughs> well, you've already seen everything washed and cut off. <clears throat> I haven't. I don't know how good it is based on what I see. It, it's probably just okay. But maybe it's better than that. And if it is, maybe it warrants coming out here again because maybe there's some better pieces hiding in here. Maybe some better agate pieces. I don't know. I don't have a lot of time because we're heading to Grand Junction because I just got a job in Grand Junction, Colorado. So we're going down to get some housing. We're going to go find us some housing out there in Grand Junction over that way. So yay, that's where I'm going to be stationed from is Grand Junction, Colorado from now on. Just so you know, I'm, I got a job in STEM education, so I'm going to be educating and teaching about science, technology, engineering, and math. But the Utah border is just over there, so I'll be doing as much Colorado as I will. I'll be doing as much Utah as I will Colorado, probably. So it's actually a really good spot, so we're excited. So look forward to a bunch more videos coming up in the future when I get more time. These first couple weeks, transition is going to be busy. But then once things get going, I'll be doing a bunch of rock canning right here and out in this area especially it's really nice because during the winter months quite often you can still just rock hound so 
looking forward. As always, remember, there is treasure everywhere.